bread. Are we making sandwiches? No, no, Sarah. I thought I could tear up these piece of bread and feed it to the ducks and geese that live in the pond by my house. Oh, that sounds so fun. Yeah, I see people doing it all the time. The, the geese and ducks just come right up to them. It's so cool. I heard someone talk about feeding ducks and geese bread. Who are you? You've never heard of me? I'm the duck whisperer. I've never heard of you. Well, I've been really busy. There are a lot of ducks and geese living in Fort Wayne, you know. What are you doing here? Well, I heard you talk about feeding that bread to some ducks and geese by your house. I see people doing it all the time. Well, I talk to a lot of ducks and geese, and I mean a lot. And I'm here to tell you about five reasons why you should never, ever, under any circumstances, feed them bread. First, while they think bread is tasty, it's not nutritious. What does that mean? Imagine if you just ate ice cream every day for lunch. It's really yummy, but isn't healthy. That's what feeding bread to ducks and geese is like. They like the taste of bread, and if they eat too much, they won't eat the things they normally eat that keep them healthy. So just like if we only ate ice cream every day, feeding ducks and geese bread can make them sick. I had no idea, but I see people doing it all the time. Most just don't know that it's bad for them. Now that you know, maybe you can share what you've learned and help protect the ducks and geese in your neighborhood. What do ducks and geese eat? That's a great question. Ducks eat plants, small fish, snails, insects, and other things naturally found in and around water. Geese eat grass, plant roots, seeds, and occasionally insects. You might see them in fields looking for food too. So if we want to feed the ducks and geese, we should find some of those things to give them? Well, just because you shouldn't feed them bread doesn't mean you should find something else to feed them. When we feed ducks and geese, or any wild animal for that matter, it can make them feel very comfortable around humans and that can be dangerous. They are more likely to gather in areas where a lot of people are, like parks, and that means they're more likely to cross busy roads looking for food. They might also make their nests in areas where there are a lot of people. They can be very protective of their nests and could hurt themselves or people trying to protect their babies. Okay, we got it. Never feed ducks or geese because it can make them sick and it could be dangerous if they depend on humans for food. Very good, you got it! Normally they fly south when it gets cold because food can be more difficult to find. But if we provide them with food, like bread, they might not leave. Brr, that sounds cold. It's definitely cold, and there aren't too many stores around Fort Wayne selling coats for ducks and geese. There's also another thing called overpopulation. What's overpopulation? That means too many. Say you fed the ducks and geese who live at the pond behind your house every day. And after a few days, you notice more ducks and geese showing up for some free food. Whoa, it's drowning in feathers. I see what you mean. There could be more ducks and geese than there's room for. That's right, and that leads us to our last reason. It could be bad for the environment. Bread left on the ground can get icky and spread dangerous bacteria to ducks and geese. Disgusting. It can also pollute the water and be more harmful to the animals that live in and around it. Plus, more ducks and geese means more duck and goose droppings. Wow, I never realized this tiny piece of bread could cause so many issues. I know, feeding bread to ducks and geese can make them sick, make them rely on us for food, cause overpopulation, make them decide to stay here during the winter instead of migrating, and it's bad for the environment. I am sure glad you flew in here, Duck Whisperer. All in a duck's work. I mean a day's work. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but I got a lot of ducks and, ge and geese to save and lots of people to educate. <laughs> what do you do with all this bread? Sandwiches!